In the Italian region of Emilia-Romagna, you'll find cities with some of the highest quality of life indices in Italy, like its capital, Bologna, as well as its production facilities for companies like Ferrari, Lamborghini, Maserati, and more. But within this region is something special, something exclusive to the Italian countryside. The city of Parma has a history dating back to the 1200s of crafting a very specific kind of cheese, Parmigiano Reggiano. This cheese would go on to become very popular, but also very exclusive. As a northern Italian delicacy, there was a push to keep them as true and authentic to their origins as possible, leading to the creation of the Designation of Origin Status Italian Law that states that true Parmesan cheese must be made in one of these four areas. Regulations to specify the exact recipe and process cheesemakers must use, and aging requirements of 18 to 36 months. But it can be difficult for many of these family farms who have been working on crafting the world's finest Parmesan cheese to wait up to three years to sell their products. That's where Credito Emiliano comes in. Just 22 miles outside of Parma, they operate as a traditional banquet, but with a twist, loaning money to farmers taking for collateral only the finest wheels of Parmigiano Reggiano. This is something that started to protect a historic tradition within the region that has grown into a mutually beneficial relationship between farmer and banker. So pack up your finest cheese before we head to the bank as we learn something new. To understand why there's a need for a bank to take cheese as collateral, we must first learn a little more about the cheese itself. The beginning of the Parmesan supply chain starts with approximately 3,500 family-owned farms. Every day, the farmers bring fresh milk to a single product producer, most of which are limited liability cooperatives of the farmers. The farms are essentially small and medium-sized enterprises, run by farmers who are averse to the idea of consolidation, even if it would cause more stability to their industry. They remain fragmented due to Italian tradition. Most of these families have been producing cheese for centuries, and take pride in what they do, resisting becoming part of a larger corporation. But there are risks in doing this. Prices for Parmigiano Reggiano tend to fluctuate wildly along with the market demand as it tends to be very expensive. A 1% difference in demand can equal up to a 10% change in price, according to a Harvard Business School case study. Economic downturns hit the industry especially hard as the expensive cheese is somewhat of a luxury item. A wheel of Parmesan cheese can cost over $1,000, and since it typically weighs 88 pounds, it comes out to $11 per pound. There's also strict standards that must be abided by as mentioned earlier. The cow's diet must be kept within strict standards, a cow's milk must start the production process into cheese within 20 hours of being milked, and it must be aged to perfection. Before it hits store shelves, the cheese must be matured for 18, 24, 30, or 36 months. During the aging process, a lot can go wrong. In poor conditions, cheese can sweat, bubble, or crack. With too many cracks in the wheel, the interior can spoil. Considering their value, fragility, and the time they take to produce, farmers selling wheels of Parmigiano Reggiano are often forced to sell their cheeses before full maturation in order to get an influx of cash. A lot of time and effort is wrapped up in the cheese, and if a farmer has a bad year selling other products, they might have no choice but to liquidate their cheese before they have fully matured or worse. Now let's take a dramatic shift and talk about loans. Don't worry, it'll be quick. Normally when taking out loans, a bank will often receive collateral. If you were getting a mortgage on your home, your house would act as the collateral. So if you weren't able to make the payments, the bank would still be able to get their money by taking ownership of your house. It's a way for the bank to reduce their level of risk in giving out the loan. Some forms of collateral could include cars or other valuables depending on the type of loan. Some farmers will use farm equipment, like tractors, to work as collateral for their loans. But Credito Emiliano decided to take a more tailored approach. Since 1953, the regional bank has accepted the giant wheels of Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. Farmers supply the bank with their aging cheese wheels in exchange for loans amounting to 70 to 80% of the wheel's total value. In this way, farmers have immediate access to the cash they would otherwise have gained a year or two or three later. Now the farmer has the financial means to run his operations. He has enough funds to feed the cows, pay the workers to milk those cows, and then make the cheese. 
Once the parmesan is ready to be stored, a representative from the bank comes to collect it or the farmer will take it to the bank himself. The parmesan is safely delivered to the bank's warehouse where a dedicated team takes care of it for up to 36 months. In the Taglia General Warehouse, a subsidiary of Credito Emiliano, there are around 440,000 wheels of cheese, aging under a carefully controlled environment. They are regularly inspected by experts to assess the quality of the cheese. The staffers regularly clean, rotate, prick, and even taste each cheese wheel. Outside of the warehouse, around 10% of the Parmigiano Reggiano wheels degrade due to environmental damage which is a fairly significant chunk considering their value and long maturation period. At the warehouse, only about 1% of the cheeses degrade. Because the cheese is aging under the bank's own roof, the bank is constantly aware of what the product is worth. If the producers default on their loans, the bank will hold on to the cheese and sell it upon maturation. If the farmer successfully repays the loan, once the term is up and the cheese is aged, the bank will release the collateral. The distributors get their cheese to sell, and the farmer continues his operations. Now, this might sound a bit unusual for a bank to do, but this isn't the first bank to take alternative forms of collateral. Prior to the United States' prohibition, some banks would take whiskey for much of the same reason. Whiskey needs to mature over time, is sensitive to its environment, and was worth quite a bit of money. Today, there are reports of a bank in Hong Kong accepting designer handbags and some instances of thoroughbred horses being accepted. Though by far the strangest form of collateral I could find was when a Spanish bank put up world-famous soccer player Cristiano Ronaldo as collateral to secure loans from the European Central Bank. In the end, the relationship between the farmers of Emilia Romagna and the bankers of Credito Emiliano appear to be one of genuine community support helping those family-owned farms continue with their tradition as opposed to forming a conglomerate Parmesan corporation. Though it does beg the question, what other products could be used in a similar manner? Thank you for watching Learn Something New. Another video about cheese completed. Maybe it will become a trend. I hope you enjoyed. If so, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. I wanted to give a special shout out to commenter James, who tipped me off to this topic in his comment on my video about the cheese caves of the United States. Video ideas are always appreciated as I read through every comment left on all my videos. So thanks again, and as always, I will see you in the next one.